two children. So they were out here looking for stuff. Who knows what stuff though? Because we got lizards. We got moths. We got ant. Big headed ant on my hand. Go away. Who knows? Oh yeah. Aphids. Right here. And as you can see, these are pea aphids. These are yellow ones. What's real awesome about aphids is that ants have been known to harvest them. Because you see those little black string needle thingies sticking out of their butts? Those are actually little tubes that release a sugary substance called honeydew. It has nothing to do with the melon, but, you know, close enough. But anyway, uh, they release this liquid because they eat so much cellulose that they have to release the carbohydrates somehow. So they mix it with excess water in their digestive tract, and they release it as honeydew. So, uh, ants have been known to get their sugar by breeding colonies of these aphids and milking them. Yes, the tropical sod webworm. Another species of crambid snout moth. Now this is a top view of it, but if you look at the bottom, it does have a white belly, which is probably the best way to identify it as a tropical sod webworm. Usually these don't cooperate, because like, they, I don't know, because they have very fast reflexes and they fly around and stuff. I don't know. Right here we got a pharaoh ant, right here, traveling up this wall. Nice pharaoh ant. How adorable is this? And then right here we have ourselves. Uh, I just lost it. There was a springtail. Right here, another springtail. Look how adorable these little things are. Now they may look like insects, but they're actually not insects. I said this in another video. But they are columbola, which is a close relative of the insects, but they're not true insects. Look at the white belly of the tropical sod webworm. How adorable. A mayfly. This one is a small minnow mayfly. It's a female. Females are a greenish brownish color. While males are darker, they have big red eyes. Mayflies are actually interesting because they only live for about a day. Here's a Sri Lankan weevil. These are all white with dark spots on them. They're invasive, but they don't do much harm to the environment since they're completely herbivorous. Come here, little buddy. Come on. These guys are super easy to catch. Look at that. Look at that. And look how adorable he is. Look how adorable you are. Look at that. Aren't you the cutest little Sri Lankan weevil? These guys are completely herbivorous. Uh, they feed on uh, many different types of leaves. They're invasive from Sri Lanka. An island just under India. It's actually its own country, even though it's real tiny. But this dude's still super cute, and I love catching them. Come on, go back on the the window. A may beetle just landed right up here, right on this leaf right here. Perfect. There's an airplane flying right over. Are serious airplane? Are you serious? You're just gonna ruin the video like this? Right here. Alright, this is a May Beetle. These are super cute. And you don't only find these in the month of May, so don't let their name confuse you. What's even more confusing about May Beetles is that their family, collectively, is called the June Bugs. So it's a May Beetle, and it's in the June Bug family, which is real odd. This is a big leaf hopper. Whoa, there's an AC right next to me, so I have to talk real loudly. Goodbye, everyone.